Good afternoon everyone. So today we would like to introduce our new proposed project the title You Are Counted by UTM Big Eye, what we call it Yakult or Malaysia Startup Challenge 2024. Firstly, I would like to introduce our group member. This group is led by Sarah Nabila Sharudin Muhammad Ali Lim and followed by me with Nur Ain Nabila, Nur Patricia Effendi, Dr. Fazli Muhammad Sa, Professor Matia Dr. Masrul Zamat Ibrahim, Professor Matia Dr. Ni Adila Hanin Zahri and Dr. Mahmoud Dwi Sulistio. So speaking of security in public space is a difficult task to be done so whereby here you can see it in front of the radio station inside the radio station in the public huge places and even in the airport so basically we kind of difficult to trace any uh, negative event inside this particular frame so towards that basically we propose our new product name you are counted by UTEM Big Eye we call it Yaku we face several problems in order to do this particular product so basically in terms of lack of incentive uh, surveillance so basically this is will lead to the potential blind spot and a gaps towards the pegawai keselamatan in uh, university area. We also face the level intensive and prone to human error. Nowadays, we are having conventional CCTV system with the help of human observation. So, and then limited coverage whereby we have limited coverage on the uh, covered CCTV area. And finally, it's in, in effective incident management whereby once the incident occur, the pegawai keselamatan should go directly based on the information that they gain from the CCTV. Okay, speaking about the market potential. So, over here, we can can see the trend of uh, demand for uh, surveillance security system uh, throughout the world so basically from 2015 until 2025 the demand is rising up especially for the public area like university college and school is included in this particular issues apart from that going to having a smart city throughout all the cities in Malaysia there will be a demand on this particular policy whereby one city in order to get the smart city title should have several requirements including the CCTV and smart application in order to observe the public area so with that we also uh, have kind of um, potential to be having a safe and have a application whereby it's efficient and reliable to the city hall okay the impact of the proposed product so basically we can divide it into four so first one is enhanced security whereby we can widen the what we have right now in the uh, university area so then we also can prevent the crime occur whereby we are targeted to the places that's not in our coverage and we try to improve the response time the one that we have been discussed before when something occurs so Pogawi Sabata will rush to that particular place also we try to analyze and data well towards the big data and several screen that we have in our hand in future so before we started to discuss and invented this particular product so we did uh, some survey the real customer user for this targeted product so whereby we went to cafeteria we went to public spaces huge in front of the faculty and so on we did ask uh, the lecturers and students about several particular issues and this survey shows UTEM is basically demanding uh, to have a good facilities or application towards the security and after we, we try uh, the survey so implemented the um, product at the entrance and exit of each of particular building so we try to solve the, uh, the real problem and uh, speaking of the realistic of um, idea so we did some survey a uh, desktop kind of survey so when we press the uh, things related to people counting in the Google so basically we have uh, several um, products that been shown by Google so whereby all this suggested product by Google is expensive and required to be subscribed with a high a fee monthly to bring this particular product in front so basically uh, 2022 we won silver in IR conducted by U uh, UTM and we just won also silver SIIC 2023 and we also have three proceeding paper in our hands and one published accepted score question uh, regarding to the civilians issues so now we can say that we are at stage number four of the RL by Mosti and to the extent of the coverage whereby we can say that what we can do and what we cannot do is uh, so far 90 90% of accuracy that we can show from our Yakub system which can be detected and counted by Yakubs. So obviously we are using a reliable and a standard open CV whereby all the people around the world can use it. Uh, easy software setting using the laptop and the cost is uh, economical. So these are the costs that we are expected to have. Cost is basically depends on how we set the usage of that particular system. So whereby if we are having one entrance so that will be 50 ringgits per cost and and we plan to sell the Yakub per camera 150. This is the technical feasibility that we already uh, discussed before. In order to have multiple CCTV outdoor, so basically we need to have several of that and utilizing the Python with uh, the apps and multiple um, display in our hands. We also compliance with an, uh, National Fourth Industrial Revolution or IR 4.0 is on to accelerate the adoption of IR 4.0 in uh, several areas in Malaysia.
explanation this is the kind of product explanation so the first thing is to set several CCTV outdoor cameras and we link them to the software base and we run it through the Python and finally we display in the several display in front of every each of the investigator to show our product demonstration here I'll show you this particular product so the product will go uh, just point at the top of every each door and every single people crossing the door will be counted by the apps uh, counting in and counting out so yes so towards to the business expansion plan so basically we are targeting to deal with a uh, UTEM cafe and several store in Malacca Mall in order to, to sell them in the package of product so whereby we wanted to sell them in whole set of copyright and product itself and R&D courses so we plan to sell in the price of 30,000 ringgit so with that thank you and see you again in the next video